the most momentous occasion in the history of East Timor is almost upon us. On behalf of the Timorese people, I would like to take this opportunity to express our deepest gratitude and appreciation to all our guests whose joint efforts have inspired and nurtured aspiration for freedom in a territory that is about to become the world's newest nation. I feel the hearts of all Timorese brothers and sisters around the world singing and our spirits soar beyond dreams. There are many friends among us tonight, and I especially want to thank Kofi Annan, Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. <clears throat> Han Siu Su, President of the United Nations General Assembly, and Mr. Sergio Vieira de Mello, the Special Representative of the Secretary General. Our warmest wishes go to all members of the United Nations missions, agencies, and programs, in particular, the United Nations volunteers for their collective contribution to East Timor journey to independence. Our sincerest thanks also go to the governments, non-government organizations, financial institutions that worked so tirelessly to help our dreams for independence become a reality. We are privileged that so many representatives from the community of nations had been able to join us at Tasitolu for East Timor's independence ceremonies. We thank each and every one of you. And allow me especially to pay tribute to some who represent their countries here. His Excellency, Dr. Jorge Sampaio, President of the Portuguese Republic. Your Excellency, Mr. President, you are representing a great nation that contributed so much to our independence. His Excellency, Mr. John Howard, Prime Minister of Australia. John Howard, you are a friend of East Timor. Your support to our small nation is invaluable and we are delighted to welcome you among us tonight. The most famous former U.S. President, I ask the audience to guess who. Can anyone guess? We are extremely honored to be here, to, to be here with us, none other than William Jefferson Clinton, former President of the United States. <laughs> Mr. President uh, Clinton, you see, you are not even a movie star. You are not as famous as Paul McCartney, and look at the reaction of the people. It is because We praise you for your friendship, your support to us, but also for your enormous contribution to peace in Northern Ireland, for your tireless work to bring about peace in the Middle East, to the special envoy of His Holiness the Pope, His Excellency Archbishop Renato Martino. <clears throat> Last but not least, we have among us hundreds of friends, ordinary people from all walks of life, from all corners of the globe, forming a chain that crosses geography, boundaries, language, and religion. 
They were with us for over a quarter of a century, giving us hope, giving us a bed, often a meal. They are the soldiers of peace, and they are the international solidarity movement. We thank you. We love you. Finally, on behalf of these Timorese people, I would like to extend our deepest appreciation and gratitude to all of you here tonight and to those of you around the world who are witnessing this historic occasion. You affirm your solidarity with and faith in the people of East Timor on our day of independence in the incredible journey we were destined to accomplish. His Excellency President-elect Shanana Guzmão soon will walk in with President Megawati Sukarno Putri of Indonesia. President Megawati has arrived, has gone to the cemetery to pay tribute to Indonesian heroes. His Excellency, the President, Shanana Guzmão, Her Excellency, President Megawati Sukarno Putri, are now on the stage. Welcome, President Megawati Sukarno Putri. Tamba Ibu Mega Horas Nadang Hoita.